So guys, today I'm prepared to take you through the entire process. We are going to connect this inverter, our oil power inverter, to our oil power battery. It's pretty simple. You can follow me through the process. All you need is this power tool here, um, electric drill, uh, and two cables. Positive, negative, red, black. They, are, they all look black, but here you can see that this is the positive, this is the negative. So you need your cables like this, with these connecting uh, parts here. And I think you're good to go. So basically you open this, connect the wires, the cables in through the bottom over here. You take them to the bottom over here, connect it to the inverter to the inside of the inverter then you bring it here and connect it to your battery negative to negative positive to positive and you're good to go so we are going to do that right now get your tools ready so i'll start by opening this top part so i got the plate off i can put it by the side now come closer see these connections in here one two that's the spot for the negative and positive cables so we take the which one is this this is the your cable will probably be red it's the whole cable will be coated red but mine is just there but we get it through pretty easy and we connect it with this so we put it on top Get your drill bit. Make sure it's turned into the right side. This side. Okay, okay. Let's just try it. Okay, so the first one is connected. The second one is this one. Yeah. So the positive one is connected over there. Where's the other bolt for it? Okay, right here. So the second one goes, no, first I put it through the hole at the bottom, bring it up here, put this here, hmm. turn it around, this way, get ready. Voila, done. So you can see it. Yeah, this is positive, negative. If most of the things are also written in there. If you actually look closely in there, you will see the positive sign there. You will see the negative sign there. So it's it's easy. There. It's really straightforward. You can see what's written there. So now that I have it connected over there, I'll connect it to the positive over here as well. Okay, so let's pick one of the positives. I pick this one, we go, and okay, positive connected to positive. You should cover it with the safety rubber. Always use protection. Here we go. Not easy. You know, the first time, yeah, it works anyway. Yeah, then the next one. All right, so I choose this one, put it on top, and get my power tool, get it done. Okay, put on the rubber. This time you put on the rubber after. So I turned it the other way. I think this should be easier. Yeah, this is easier. Yeah, so if you're having a tough time with the rubber, just change the position. That usually works. Changing positions is very important. Okay, so now that the battery is connected to the inverter, you don't just go straight and turn it on. There is this cable you need to connect you need to connect the inverter 
with the battery to an ethernet cable okay this is ethernet cat 5 that's the appropriate cable and you're supposed to you're supposed to connect it from the bms can can you see that bms can over here and you come all the way to the battery and you connect it to the can as well pretty simple so i like this thing but i don't need it okay so what next hmm. i think there's that's it for all the connections i need to, to read the positive to positive negative to negative i think i'm good to go yeah so we turn it on okay so as long as you make sure that all the right wires are connected to the right places you can go ahead and turn on your battery then when your battery is on you turn on your inverter okay so let's start with the battery so for the battery you turn on the circuit breaker then you, turn, you press the power button and once everything is green over here, yep, everything is green, no problems. Welcome to use Smart B BMS. Okay, so the battery is ready. You come here, and I don't know if you can get down. Go ahead, let's see. Over here, there's this, and then there's the power button. So it has its own circuit breaker and the power button. So I first turn on the circuit breaker, then the power button. The same process over here. Yeah. So here we go. Turn on the circuit breaker. That's not the power button. So now we turn on the power button. And we wait for this. So once you turn on the inverter, for this inverter you would have to wait um, for a few seconds or maybe up to a minute and then it would run all its checks and when it's ready it will show that the output is ready to be given to the load. And I have already connected this output just for us to test and that's connected to this over here, this over here, let me get this out of here okay so once it's ready i will know over here and then we can maybe charge a few phones to check yeah there's a phone here we'll charge a phone just to make sure it's working so it's pretty simple i i left this i left this uh out here because this is a temporary connection but if you come closer there are there are spaces down here you could have just passed this through it and it will make it more clean and then you can cover it up. But this is just a temporary setup, so I did that. Maybe at the end I'll show you how to do that. Okay. So we wait, we wait for the inverter to tell us it's ready to uh, give us the output. That should take a few seconds. And then we can charge our phone almost about a minute since we turned this on and i expect it to come online anytime well next time <laughs> anytime now so that click we had i'm sure i hope you heard it. that click was just the sign that yeah it's ready and come closer when you look at this now you can see this it's touch screen so when you look at it, you can see, yeah, the power is flowing from here to the output, the load, to the house, to your equipment, to everything. So it means you're ready to use. And if you've connected your output already, you can go ahead and charge your phone. So give me a minute. Let me get a phone and charge it just to confirm that the connection was successful and complete. Where is my phone? So as you can see, this output comes all the way here. This is our setup over here. So we already had this connected. It comes all the way here. And this is it. 
and we turn it on looks like there is power I go ahead and and voila and voila look at that let's do that again and voila yeah so it's working i did everything right and as i was saying before i could have covered it by now and just uh, put back this plate but because it's a temporary connection i just left it there i didn't use this side next time i'll use that so yeah once you are done in case you are done using it in case you are done using it and you want to turn it off you can go ahead and let me unplug my phone yeah so i don't need my phone now okay so you can go ahead you don't need to yank out or any of the cables just go ahead and first turn it off over here then turn off the circuit breaker as well now it's off no power to the output anymore so and then you can see it over here there's no power flowing to the output anymore okay now you can come to the circuit breaker turn it off and completely off now we come down here since we are done because this is a temporary setup i easily have access to the um, can cable as i was saying this is the place where you could have just passed it here come on come on i know you can fit it's going to fit yeah it will fit you can handle it okay um, it's easier when you pin this down and push it in to make the entry smooth okay and then you connect to the turn and you're good to go so if this is how you did it then you can easily close it up okay then you can easily close it up like this and screw it, screw it up, secure everything. But as I said, this is a temporary setup. Um, we are going to have videos. This is a power, a, a battery setup here, but that's another inverter we have. That's another inverter. And that's a, another inverter. We have so many different inverters here. As we told you, these things we sell are compatible with a lot of different inverters. I'm going to take you through a very easy setup of connecting all these batteries this is the 5 kilowatt hour battery very similar to the 11 kilowatt hour one and then there's this one and then there's the power wall there's this one also we have so many options i'm going to take you through a very simple setup of connecting all our batteries to all the possible inverters i can find just a step-by-step -step guide it's basically the same thing but if you need the guide i'll have it there for you very soon so from here i will disconnect the the can from here from down here first oh i have to i want to turn it off okay i want to turn it off first. so for turning off the battery i go here to the power button turn it off nothing indicated anymore and i turn it off here and everything is fine so I can pull it out from down here first and then here as well this is usually not what you would do because this is a temporary setup for me I'm going to use it on the other things so I need it out of this inverter and now I can I can remove the cables I can remove these cables. Where is my power tool? Yeah, so go back, just use your power to get this out, get this out. 
Let me show it. Right, so you go on and screw this one, these things on, and secure your inverter. You should always keep it closed. You wouldn't want anything getting in there to damage it. Alright, so you secure them and then you're done. So, so as I was saying, that's it for today. We connected this Orient Power inverter to our Orient Power rack mounted batteries. We are going to have more videos. So stay, stay tuned. Subscribe, like, share. See you next time.